to colour pencil. Now, this is one of the reasons it is very difficult when my cat decides that she needs to be on my desk because I actually need quite a lot of space. When you're using mixed media and you've got all sorts of different things out all at once and you're trying to use all of them, um, having a cat in the middle of the desk just doesn't work. ask any of my pupils they will tell you that I have a um, bugbear about them using pencils. I much prefer if possible to use watercolour pencil because it literally blends in and then you don't get the nasty hard lines um, and it does a much better job um, but you can't always persuade people and that is the case. But, uh, I'm a great proponent of colour pencils. I love them. Good ones do tend to cost a little bit more than ordinary crayons. But you know, sometimes it's worth it. Instead of drawing it as a flat line though, I'm drawing it as lots and lots of little tiny dashes because when you actually look at um, the wings of these creatures under these moths or butterflies under um, a microscope you see that they're literally that each of these patterns is made up of scales and these scales are stunning absolutely stunning but they're definitely lots and lots of little pieces not a smooth flat finish so that's what I want to make sure that I'm getting the feeling of here Take shape. More importantly, I'm enjoying it. And that is half the thing. If you're not enjoying it, why are you doing it? You've got to enjoy what you're doing. Um, especially as this is just time when you could just be lying around doing nothing. But I don't really enjoy lying around doing nothing. I much prefer to be doing something. So um, it's good for me to be doing something I like. Good thing I shut the door because my husband seems to be reliving his disco youth quite loudly out there. So, uh, good thing in general. Just putting a little bit of white. I've touched a little bit of gold around the edge just to get that little yellowing corona around the white. Happy with that. Now obviously if you want to get a peachy pink, we need a vermilion rather than the crimson, which will give you a very pink, pinky, pinky purpley red, whereas the vermilion will give you more of a peachy, peachy pink, which is what we have on this little critter. So I'm just going to certainly here it's more so than it was at the bottom. Soften that up on the brush a little bit and I'm just going to gently sweep some of this in here. Then we come out from a bit of dark blue then we've got, we've got a bit of pale blue going in there, a little bit of pale blue going in there and then we come back to peach here. So I'm going to stroke this peach onto here. A blush of peach, a little tiny bit coming back here. 